Now at 816, we turn to the military watch this morning. There has been a lot of attention on the USS Gerald R. Ford lately. It is the largest aircraft carrier in the world and deployed from Naval Station Norfolk earlier this month. While it was still in port preparing for its first global deployment, I was able to go on board and see how sailors really live. It's been called a floating city because, well, look at it. Underway, shift colors! The USS Gerald R. Ford is the world's largest aircraft carrier. The lead ship in the new Ford class. We're testing it beyond what like limits we've tested before. Two, one, two. This ship just showed true through the whole time. It holds thousands of sailors, and when deployed... So for my division, we usually do about 12, 13, 14-hour shifts seven days a week. So we are working all the time, every day, to make sure this ship is running and that every evolution is completed. While we hear a lot about maintenance and operations, I wanted to know what it's like to live on an aircraft carrier. So Scott Vanderham Jr. showed me around. You want to go first? Sure. It felt like a maze to me with narrow ladders and small passageways. Have you gotten lost? <laughs> yeah. Just a few twists and turns to get to the birthing. About a three by six foot space where six people uh, with triple bunk beds. So you have two people sleeping above you, they're stacked. And uh, six people have to get up in the morning and all kind of rotate to get, get dressed, yeah, get whatever you need to. By the way, Vanderham says a lot of sailors bring mattress toppers to cushion what's given to them. The Ford also has two conglomerate galleys, a new approach to feeding the thousands on board, but that's not the only way to grab an extra treat. I'd say probably some of the things I wasn't expecting would definitely be the convenience stores. Um, I knew that we ate. I didn't know that we could, you know, have a, a Navy cash card and actually pay for that on the ship while we're out at sea. Sailors can also keep their fitness up while out at sea. Favorite part of the ship is the gym. There are several on board. You usually start here. Giving service members an opportunity to blow off some steam. Vanderham says the job can be heavy. It's a very high stress job. No matter what you're doing, if you're pushing papers or you're taking and lowering yourself or squatting beneath a jet engine that's, that's currently powered on, like there's a lot of very risky stuff that happens. Along with the risk, he says, is the opportunity to see the world. It's cool going to Canada. I've never been, so Nova Scotia. I firmly believe that everything I've gone through, I can take something positive from it. What a great message. And I also wanted to show you something else, too. This is a room dedicated to the former president, Gerald R. Ford. It's located off the hangar bay and really just a nice homage for the man who the ship was named after.